Now we'll talk about setting up the TDR2010 to perform a test. The first thing to do is select the mode. What we want the TDR2010 to do and how we want to see it. Depress the mode button, the one that looks like a TV screen, at the top right corner to get to the mode screen. This is a matrix of sorts. Let's go down the left side, the up-down axis of our matrix, and look at the icons. The first icon indicates the TDR2010 is in single channel mode and the display will show one trace. The second icon indicates that the TDR2010 is in dual channel mode and the display will show two traces, one above the other. The third icon indicates that the TDR2010 is in crosstalk mode. The fourth icon indicates that the TDR2010 will load and display a trace from memory. The fifth icon indicates that the TDR2010 is in intermittent mode. This is used when you want the TDR2010 to catch and display and continue to display the trace of a momentary intermittent event. Now let's look at the left-right part of our matrix. There are several choices in the center part of the screen. T1 is trace 1. These are from the inputs on the left side of the connections on the top of the TDR2010. T2 is trace 2. These are from the inputs on the right side of the connections on the top of the TDR2010. T1-T2 is trace 1 minus trace 2. This shows the difference between the two traces. T1 and T2 shows both traces on the screen. When using the single trace icon, all four cursors are shown on the same trace. When using the dual trace icon, the traces are shown separately, one above the other. T2-T1 is trace 2 minus trace 1. T1-M is trace 1 minus a trace recalled from memory. M is a trace recalled from memory. T2-M is trace 2 minus a trace from memory. We'll cover saving to and recalling them from memory in a later section. Now that we know what everything is, we select what we want the TDR2010 to do and how we want to see it by simply using the navigation group. Let's say that we want to see only T1. We navigate the highlighted choice up or down using the navigation group to the single trace display and left or right to T1 and press the OK button. If we made a mistake, we merely press the mode button again to get back to the matrix.